today I want to talk about new patients. How do we handle new patient exams? How do we get the new patient engaged and excited about dentistry, about our practice? What things can we do relative to that? You know, there's so much that's made in that first impression with that patient that is so vital to get just massive amounts of acceptance and to really kind of change and set that relationship into a different level than it would be otherwise. So I think how we interact with those people uh, on a first visit in terms of setting an expectation and in a first impression, I think is of paramount importance. I'm gonna promote a very comprehensive sort of approach to it because I wanna make sure that the patient comes in expecting us to be delivering comprehensive dentistry as opposed to something else. And I wanna bring as much of that to you as possible. So some questions that we could ask a patient. How do you feel about your smile? Do you like the color and shape of your teeth? How about rate your smile one to 10? What would make it a 10? If I could change one thing about it for you, what could we do that would make it a 10? Did you know that a new smile could take 20 years off of your life in terms of your appearance? Have you ever thought about changing your smile? It, it, Great leading questions, not presumptive, not trying to push it, just asking. And then I think if you hop into some of this exam that we're going to show and, and you really wow and dazzle the patient with what makes your practice different, how comprehensive are you through this process, I think it's a complete game changer. So I want to kind of wander through these. We'll play each one. They're about a minute, minute and a half long. I'm going to talk about them a little bit and then play the next one and just kind of zip through them rather quickly. And as we're going along, if you have any questions or need me to stop, please, please ask. So first thing we usually start with is the upper, or excuse me, the right TMJ or jaw joint. And when I click down here um, in the smaller left screen or right screen, lower we're going to look at the shape of the jaw joint. You know, I really like how he started with this. If you have any questions, let me know. Clearly what he's trying to do there is, is create a, a circumstance of, of co-diagnosis where we're working together, where we're getting the engagement, and now we're showing the patient something they've probably never seen, and we're asking questions about it. He's showing all the stuff. Let's tell you what we're looking for here. We're looking for cancer, infection, extra teeth, not you know, missing teeth, blah, blah, blah. He's talking in very common terms to where anyone can understand it. He's talking about stuff that has nothing to do with dentistry. Hey, this is what helps you breathe. This is where allergies become an issue. If you have allergies, this is where you'd see it. This is what allows air to flow through, moisturizes. I really enjoy how he's doing it so anybody can understand this. And now all of a sudden I'm sitting there going, man, I've never had anyone tell me this, show me this. And you're a dentist, what, what's that have to do with my sinuses? Because they don't realize that you actually have something to do with some of those areas. He's getting the patient to interact with him and, and be an active participant in this as opposed to just lecture, 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 kind of like I get to do here where you can't say anything back to me. And so it's fascinating to me to see how that engagement, what that does to that relationship. Because remember, this is all about building relationships. And you're clearly seeing a very nice relationship being built here. So we'll play the next one and pop back in again. And what I'm noticing here, again, we like dark spaces. Well, mm -hmm. you actually have a tendency to have a tight or restricted airway. Um, it makes you more prone for sleep apnea, mm -hmm. makes you more prone for snoring and, and other possibilities. Even heart disease can be a result of this. I love it. Again, talking about sleep apnea, overall health, this impacts your risk for heart disease. This, this allows me to see and explain why maybe you don't feel rested when you wake up in the morning. So I, I think if we start off with some good probing questions at the beginning, rate your smile one to 10, what would make it a 10? You know, do you like this? Do you like that? Do you have food traps? And then we come in and, and through an explanation like this, we explain the whole thing. I think in terms of new patient exams and, and setting the expectation that, hey, I'm not here just to fix this one little problem that you came in, your focused problem. I'm really here to look at your overall health. You can tell this is a doctor who is into the patient's overall health, not just, let me fix a broken tooth. I, I look forward to seeing you next week here, uh, 8 a.m. Mountain, 10 o'clock on the East Coast. Sorry, it's been a long morning already. And until then, have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you later.